Welcome back, everyone. So it looks like former world champion skateboarder Mark Gator Rogowski is going to be released from prison. Do you remember Mark Gator? Well, if you were around the skateboard scene anywhere between 1980 and 1990, in that 10-year span, you remember Mark Gator. I'll try to put a picture of his skateboard deck up here that uh, sold pretty darn and they had originally charged him on top of it with a litany of other charges for disposal of the body and his rage that he took out on this young lady was you know severely misplaced his uh, rage was actually meant towards his ex-girlfriend and instead he took it out on his, her best friend who was a part-time model and she was kind of a uh, what they call a hanger-on or a groupie of the skateboard scene in the 1980s um, but they the of course the, you know the victim's father you know certainly t spoke to the parole board and asked that he not be released the DA made an unprecedented uh, uh, trip all the way from San Diego up to the penitentiary to plead not to let him out of prison even though he served close to 30 years in prison for the crime and going by the uh, Justice Department's own information on the state of California since he, he has been incarcerated in prison for nearly three decades in the state of California 52 men who have been convicted of murder and rape have been released from prison during the span that he has served. He is eligible for parole. He will be paro uh, paroled now. He will have uh, 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 close to two decades on supervised uh, visitation, uh, you know, um, supervised uh, parole. He, he must get a job. He must be released to a halfway um, home first. He also has stipulations of no alcohol, no drugs, and that he also must make uh, start making restitution payments back to the family and to the court for his crime. Uh, what is he going to do? I don't know. It's hard to for most you know inmates uh, being released from prison to find employment, especially meaningful employment where they can uh, start paying back uh, restitution. But he has to do it. It is a stipulation of his release. I'm going to now read you the uh, statement from uh, CBS News on this um, actual story. San Diego, California, former professional skateboarder convicted of rape and murdering a woman in Carlsbad nearly three decades ago is suitable for parole, a hearing panel at the Donovan Correction Facilities determined on Tuesday. The Board of Parole panel determined that Mark Gator Rogowski is not an unreasonable risk to the community, setting him up for release despite objections from the victim's father and the San Diego County District Attorney's Office over the crime that stunned the region in the 1990s. We think the decision did not take into account the grave uh, public safety concerns posed by this inmate. We think he still poses a threat, especially to women, said Supervising De Deputy District Attorney Richard Sachs. When someone does something as horrible as this, it shocks the consciousness that they would ever be granted parole, he went on to add. In the 1980s, Mark Gator was a very well-known uh, skateboarder. He was in several different uh, skateboarding uh, movies, and traveled the world and by by all accounts he was a you know a darn good professional skateboarder and a lot of people remember him because of that now his crime again like I, I said he took out on his ex-girlfriend's best friend and again I'm not justifying it in any means at all he's not that much of uh, um, out of the norm Unfortunately, there are a lot of other men in the state of California who have been paroled with just as much, you know, horrific crimes.
if not more so. But he's been um, deemed to be safe uh, to be released from parole, on parole. During his time in prison, he has taken uh, part in educational classes. He has taken part in victims panels. Made as many as much of amends he could for his crime. Started paying restitution back to the family, you know, that were affected, and to the state of California. Has written um, to the family and offered his deepest condolences and apology for his crime, which apparently fell on deaf ears, and understandably so. He has done everything that the parole board in the state of California has asked him to do at this point. He will be released to a halfway home where he must uh, attend drug and alcohol uh, classes. He must uh, continue to make uh, restitution, get a job, and become gainfully employed. And so he can start paying back the, you know, the rest of the, what he owes. And he is restricted from traveling um, for the next five years um, unless he is, receives, you know, uh, authorization from the state and in advance. He can't just show up and say, I'm leaving for, you know, six months, you know, or, or, or six days. He has to get advanced um, clearance in order to leave. So there are a lot of stipulations on his release, but Mark Gator is going to be released on parole. And as much as it, uh, the family and those out there may want to be outraged by his release, he's done everything that we ask an inmate to do who has been convicted of such a, you know, a series of horrific crimes. Not that it matters one bit, and it does not dis excuse his actual behavior. But he was on drugs when he did it. And not that it, again, not that it excuses any of it, but he was. He did have a substance abuse issue. And that is why the stipulation of part of his parole is that he attends alcohol and drug classes after he is released. So, thank you for joining me today. And you stay safe out there.